Release the pressure and back to the tapping. Oh, is this your full fat day? Oh, it could be if I call Wednesday semi-skimmed. In fact, if I call today Saturday, I could have a Kit Kat. <laughs> <laughs> it's a load of cods wash dieting. All that misery for what? Could fall under a bus tomorrow. <laughs> I could. You wouldn't fit under a bus. It would have to be jacked up. <laughs> I'm not cursed with hips, fortunately. We've come a long way, me and my hips. Mm, talk about contents may have settled in transit. <laughs> what do you read it, Twig? Survey. Good knob guide. Have a look. <laughs> Blimey, I thought you meant furniture or something. <laughs> well, I'm sanding down an old blanket box. I could do with an unusual knob. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think you want one of them on your blanket box, darling. <laughs> The girl Irina shows us round her converted sauce factory. Well, it might give me some ideas. Oh, <laughs> oh, I can't even look. <laughs> I thought you said it was knobs. What is it? Oh, no, I'm not letting you see it. Could set your marriage guidance back months. <laughs> you know, Keith told her I needed to make more of an effort in bed. I'm not surprised if you spend the whole time reading Catherine Cookson. Well, not the whole time. Anything out of the ordinary happens, I pop in a bookmark. <laughs> it's Catherine Cookson, the one on the telly. And it's all lovely and old-fashioned in the ground in carriages. No, that's Jane Austen. If they're in carriages and the bosoms are, like, just under the chins, that's Jane Austen. <laughs> Catherine Cookson, they be like a horse and cart, and they get pregnant a lot and chop the heads off mackerel. <laughs> And it's raining and the bosoms will be a lot lower. And the Jane Austen ones, are they Shakespeare? <laughs> no, there's Dickens. Are you thinking of Dickens? If they're all, like, covered in warts and they go, Oh, Mr Wizzygog, that's Dickens. <laughs> Shakespeare, that's BBC Two, and they have, like, robes on and they never sit down and they run on. Have you never seen them? I don't know. Yeah, they run on. What is it, you? Oh, the Duke of Widley Bob's and such and such and such. Your body's fell downstairs in the night. You okay? Fair enough. Off you go. Oh, that's Shakespeare. <laughs> that's good. She's a millionaire now, this weather girl, Irina. Just for pointing at some low cloud over Derby. <laughs> it's like those fat ladies that cook. Ooh, what are they called? They're fat ladies. There's two of them. <laughs> <laughs> two fat ladies. That's them. I couldn't think what they were called. <laughs> oh, and they're very ill-groomed, standing there with the curvy grips dangling over a bit of woodcock. What cock? <laughs> to breathe there. Uh, now, message from Philippa. Did anyone see that series on telly about bin men? Oh, with Edward Woodward, that was brilliant. No. And did you know he was married to that woman out of Thingy Bob? Some mothers do have them. What do you mean, have them? No. You know, he goes under a lorry and roller skates. Mr Bean? No, not Mr Bean. Bren. Mr Pace. No, Bren. Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> Bren, not that series. Shut up. There has just been a series on television about bin men. Real bin men. Nothing to do with Edward Pig in Woodward. Real people. Documentary. Oh, I know. Oh, yeah. Oh. And the people who made it, God help them, want to come and have a look round the factory. Oh. To make a programme about us? I don't know. Get the phones, Bren. I'm having a fag. Tony. No. Oh, I left them on the table. No. So we might be on the television. If they make a docu-soap about us, I could become a celebrity. Yeah, like that girl that tripped up on that discussion programme. She's in here. Look. Trips up once on television and now she's seen it relaxing in the Seychelles in lycra flat-fronted trousers, 89.99, with her boyfriend, Olive. <laughs> Clive. <laughs> I might have my own slimming programme if our docu-soap takes off. There will be no docu-soap. You are sad women. What have you done to that lettuce? Chopped it. You've pulverised it. It's had it. That's not a salad bowl, that's a hospice. <laughs> hey, the toilet paper dispenser's playing up again. Yeah, you tug and you only get one piece. Well, that's not adequate, you see. It's supposed to be three sheets per tug. <laughs> and with a tension on my spindle nuts. <laughs> I said that. I'll loosen them off. Is there anybody in there? No. 
male maintenance operative entering female relief premises for nut adjustment. <laughs> What's he doing? He's adjusting his nuts. Fair enough. Bren, Bren. Can I just pop into the toilet a minute with Clint? <laughs> Nothing sordid. We're just... Come on, lover. <laughs> Bren, if you have a minute, two black coffees. <laughs> Bren? Was that your mother? That just went in the toilet with that boy? Yeah. Are you Brenda? Bren? Yeah. Answer me one question, love. Where's my Clint? <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> He's living with your mother, isn't he, in that caravan? He needs to come home, love. He gets constipated. <laughs> Look, I don't see her very often. She parks it in different places. <laughs> That water around the heart. I've had to have my rings cut off. I should be in Lanzarote today. What's going on? He's all I've got. My daughter's in Saudi. I just want to talk to him. My ankles are like this. I can only wear moon boots. <laughs> What's the problem? How's he gonna cope in a caravan? He's used to a through lounge. <laughs> I've gone up a bra size. It's all water. <laughs> Tell me about it outside, love, OK? That's it. Out we go. He's just that trainer for Nancy. What's the toilet situation? Only I've got a semi-operative dispenser spindle in there. All right, show's over. Can I have a word, Brent? Yeah. Who are you? Is he with you, Stan? He's not. He came in with me mother. Hey? Did you do those coffees, Brent? <laughs> Hang about. Now, I like strange women shouting the odds in a staff toilet full of mad people. That's better than the game of snooker to me. But what is going on? What was that all about? And who is he? Do excuse me. I'm Bren's mother, Petula Godino. And this is Clint. Clint? My fiancé. <laughs> Clint's mother's a bit stressed by our engagement, so we're going to Barcelona. Let her cool off. I think Clint's going to be very stimulated by the architecture. <laughs> Until his passport comes through, I wonder if I could just park the caravan by the back stairs there. Now, who do we need to ring? Come on, Clinty. <laughs> you haven't forgotten the research is coming, the docu-soap? No, we're all really excited. So am I, actually, on the QT. Did you see that one about undertakers? Um, oh, it was a really funny one. He kept saying, I'm screwing the lid down now. That's all he said, I'm screwing the lid down now. <laughs> He's given up undertaking, he does quiz shows. <laughs> Did Stan manage to tow your mother's caravan round? Yeah, it's round the back by his bins. Morning. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Is she here? The researcher. Mr Michael's waiting outside for her. Anybody here with no clothes on? Oh, you missed it again. <laughs> Which bra is it, Jean? The grey one with the gaffer tape. Uh, hi, Twink. <laughs> Shut up, Bren. I'm wrecked. <laughs> Look, could I just have a quick word with everybody about the docu-soap? I do know they're looking for an upbeat feel, and I see you as quite a sparky bunch. Oh, we are. <laughs> Though, of course, it's not just the canteen she's looking at. There's packing. Oh. oh. Is it Harold who's supposed to have a bit of a party piece? Oh. oh. All he does is struggle to force the theme tune from Cagney and Lacey out of his... Uh, Bottom? <laughs> <laughs> no. Out of his ocarina, I was trying to say. <laughs> Bottom? How could somebody get a tune out of their bottom? <laughs> there speaks a woman who's never gone camping. <laughs> Remember, up, jolly, ha, ha, let's go for it. Here we are. This is Hannah. Jolly good. Hello, Philippa. We speak on the phone. Moorcroft. And these are the girls. Hello. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's Tony, the manager, not a girl. Right. So what sort of goes on here, then? Oh, there's tons happening, isn't there? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> there's the bread man. Norman. Because <laughs> we have, like, this bread order, and sometimes, like, it's not correct. <laughs> Like it doesn't tally. You know, like we're supposed to get a load of granary torpedoes. Yeah. And we never get them. <laughs> we, we get like wholemeal pitters. <laughs> and you say to him, Norman, why have you given me wholemeal pitters, Norman? And what does he say? Well, he doesn't say anything usually, does he? <laughs> he just usually says like it were a mistake or something, doesn't he? 